Aflatoxin and other mycotoxins are a major issue for agriculture over the world. And as researchers, we have been working for decades to characterize the mycotoxin issue in a variety of food systems globally. But there's been a really big gap in terms of what we understand to be a mycotoxin issue in that most of the research has taken place in the big staple grains, maize, wheat, rice, and also in groundnut, which are crops that have been known to have high concentrations of aflatoxin and other toxins. But what this is missing out on is the bigger picture of a food system, which contains other crops, pulses, fruits, vegetables, spices, and others, which can also be afflicted by fungal infection and mycotoxin contamination. With this gap in mind, I've made my way to Ikrasat, where I've been in undergoing a pilot study in Arapale village to characterize the mycotoxin situation across the entire village food system. This ranges everywhere from farms on the field, farm storage, the sales place, the marketplace, into the household and into the kitchen pantry. And so what this is going to tell us is where the mycotoxins are entering the system and what factors related to social class, geography, environment, storage conditions, etc. are contributing to mycotoxin accumulation across the entire system. I'm going to scale this up to multiple villages across several regions in India to get a fuller picture of how social, cultural, and biological factors contribute to mycotoxin accumulation across a food system. And so this type of research is really what's necessary and is at the forefront of mycotoxin research today in that traditionally mycotoxin researchers have focused on an individual point along a food value chain when the problem is much larger. There are multiple avenues by which a fungus can enter a crop and start producing mycotoxins and these can occur at any place from planting to the mouth as consumers are eating it. So the work that I'm doing and the work that many others around the world should recognize as important in mycotoxin research is linking together those multiple entry points along a food value chain to get a fuller picture of mycotoxin contamination and a good idea of the factors individually that are affecting uh, exposure to toxins in a food system. Moving forward, it's important that more attention is given to pulses and other crops that have been relatively ignored by the mycotoxin literature over the past several decades. These crops contain only a small concentration of mycotoxin, but are consumed daily by millions of people around the world. And this prolonged exposure to mycotoxin over the course of a lifetime can result in very serious and potentially dangerous um, health concerns.